Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. I am in Shanghai right now where I have been eating a lot of food and also snapping a lot of photos with these two phones, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So last year, I did a similar camera comparison between the 12S Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra completely kicked the butt of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, particularly with that main camera because the image sensor was so much larger, it pulled in so much more light and produce such stronger natural bokeh that all the photos just look a lot more organic compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max's images which looked a little bit flat. Now this year, you know, good news for iPhone users, Apple has closed the gap. I've snapped a lot of photos with both of these main cameras and to be honest, they're much closer than I thought. First of all, that natural bokeh that was so much stronger in the Xiaomi phone last year it's no longer there. If you look at these photos of the plants and flowers, the bokeh is actually equally strong in both photos. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Apple actually increased the image sensor size of its main camera by quite a bit. On the 13 Pro, it was like 1 over 1.6 inch. Now this 48 megapixel main camera has an image sensor size of 1 over 1.28 inch, which is still smaller than the 1 inch sensor, but the gap has closed a little bit. And then you throw in a little bit of software trickery, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max produces very strong, mostly natural looking bokeh that you would expect from a 1 inch sensor. Now when I'm shooting in good lighting conditions, both of these main camera produces images that are pretty close to call. It really comes down to color science preferences. Like for example, in this shot of the flowers, I think the Xiaomi's red is a little bit more punchy than the iPhone's red and that's more aesthetically pleasing. But you can also argue that the iPhone's red is a little bit more natural. But that's only if you're shooting in proper lighting conditions like right now. If you're shooting in dim lighting or at night, you see that Xiaomi's main camera's image looks a lot brighter than the iPhone 14 Pro Max's. Now, brighter isn't always better. In some of these shots, I think the brighter image definitely looks a little bit better to my eyes. But then in other shots, I think the iPhone keeping things a little bit darker adds to the mood, adds to the vibe. So basically, a brighter image isn't always better. However, what is objectively better in Xiaomi's favor is if you zoom into 100% to pixel peep, you can see that the iPhone's image is always noisier and a little bit softer in details. That's because of that smaller image sensor. But then I think the iPhone 14 Pro Max focuses better than the Xiaomi 13 Ultra because it has a LiDAR scanner right here. So a lot of shots, if I'm just pointing and shooting, the iPhone will always get everything in focus, whereas the Xiaomi 13 Ultra sometimes will miss focus. Like for example, in this picture of the dog, you can see that the focus is actually on the dog's leg instead of on the dog's face. That's because with that one inch sensor and f1.8 aperture, the focus paint's actually really, really shallow. I think what Xiaomi should have done is maybe put a laser focus auto system here. Now there is a way around that and that's with a variable aperture that allows you to drop down to f4 aperture in which case the focus pane will widen a little bit then you won't get as many part of one subject out of focus. But to switch to f4 you have to jump into the setting like it's, it's inside a sub menu now. So it takes an extra step. And for the most part, for this particular video, I didn't really shoot in F4 that much because I just wanted to quickly pull two phones, point it and shoot and move on. So to summarize the main camera photography, in good lighting conditions, it is surprisingly close and comes down to personal preferences. But in lower light conditions, then the larger image sensor does come into play. Now, another area that really surprised me for videos is that I think, at least in this particular clip, I think the Xiaomi 13 Ultra's nighttime video looks a little bit better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max's videos. Stabilization is actually a little bit better. This is surprising to me because the iPhone had always been the stabilization king. But here, at least in this particular clip, you see more micro jitter in the iPhone's footage than in the Xiaomi 13 Ultra's. So while the main camera is much closer than I thought, the other lenses do, as expected, tip in favor of the Xiaomi. That's because whether it's the ultra wide camera or the two zoom lenses here, Xiaomi's lenses have a faster aperture and a larger image sensor than the iPhone 14 Pro Max's. So when it comes to ultra wide camera, during the day, you can still argue it's neck and neck, but when you move to low light conditions, the Xiaomi completely kicks the iPhone 14 Pro Max's butt. Just look at these shots here. It's not even close when it comes to ultra wide camera and low light conditions. 
with the short zoom, the telephoto zoom lens at about 3x, again, in good lighting conditions, you can argue it's close enough, but then if you zoom into pixel peep, the Xiaomi's image is significantly less noisy, it's sharper, it's a little bit more organic looking, and it has stronger, shallower depth of field for more aesthetically pleasing bokeh. And then if you want to do long zoom, like 15 times zoom, then clearly it's a win in favor of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra 2. Again, stronger bokeh, sharper details. Now one area that's going to win for the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the front-facing camera because it can shoot in 4K resolution whereas the front-facing camera here in the 13 Ultra is capped at 1080p. Personally, I don't care. I, I don't need to shoot my face in 4K but a lot of you guys care about that and I can't argue that, you know, Xiaomi should not have 4K in the front camera. I mean, Xiaomi should considering this phone costs quite a bit of money. So ultimately, as for which camera system is better, I guess it comes down to your personal preferences. If you shoot a lot of front-facing videos and you want 4K resolution, then the iPhone is the clear choice here. But for me, I like to dabble in street photography, so I care about the zoom lenses a lot, particularly that sweet 75 millimeter focal length or longer zoom so I can shoot like storefronts and animals and people from far away. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra is clearly better but the gap is closer than last year. Last year's 12S Ultra was completely heads and shoulders above the competition at the time of release. This year, the gap isn't that wide anymore because all the other Chinese phones adopted that same one inch sensor and then you have the iPhone, which also drastically increased its image sensor too, as well as adding more pixels. So this is what I always mean by competition is good. If Xiaomi didn't push so hard last year for that one inch sensor, maybe other brands this year would not have a larger image sensor too. So anyway, that's about it for this relatively quick video by my standards on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra against the iPhone 14 Pro Max. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. I'm uploading photo samples there all the time. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.